Hi students, I am Sienu Jalota. Welcome to the most important video for SCMP self-paced paper. Last few months since the time ICAI has started to introduce a new course, self-paced papers ke baare mein bahut zyada clarity wo nahi hai. So doubts are building on every now and then. Everybody is thinking ki kab doon, kyon doon, kaise doon. Paper tough hai, paper nahi tough hai. How will I write down the uh, answers? Where to join? Where not to join? All those questions, I have a summary banaya in form of 22 questions, which will be most common questions for the students. And in this video, I am going to be talking of basically all these things only. All these things I will be talking of ki ye wala subject jo hai, I see ne fir bhi kiyo rakha hua hai. Self-paced papers ka purpose kya tha? Aap log ye wala exam kaise de sakte ho? Paper ka pattern kya hoga? Uske baad paper mushkil hoga ya nahi hoga? Apart from that, in this case, uh, how many hours will it take for you all to be studying? Every doubt that you all have, I am trying to address through this video. Okay, so keep on watching, especially the last question, that is 22nd question, whereby I will give some important details about the paper pattern over here. Okay, so uh, what is the aim of the institute for these papers? यार आईसी के ओल्ड कोर्स के अंदर आठ पेपर थे बहुत लोगों ने बहुत सारे वो टीचर्स ने भी ये वाला चीज आईसी को रेकमेंड किया कि ना एंड के ना एट पेपर्स मत रखो इट बिकम्स टू मच तो छह पेपर रखो बट आईसीएआई डज रियलाइज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ टू सब्जेक्ट्स एससीएमपी एंड लॉ सो देयरफॉर ये वाली चीजों को मेन पेपर से निकाल के अलग से ले आए नाउ जब अलग से लेकर आए तब आईसी का एम ये था दैट इफ यू हैव टू बी अ गुड स्टूडेंट who should know everything when they clear the CA exams. Then obviously two subjects like law and SCMPE, inka knowledge is must for every student. And that is whatever was the aim of the institute also in keeping these papers. But then now these are not like your normal papers. These are like your self-paced papers. Khud ba khud padho. Once you give the exam, if you clear the exam, if you get 50%, you are all through. और जो भी इसके मार्क्स होंगे आपकी मार्कशीट के अंदर रिफ्लेक्ट नहीं होंगे तो अगर कोई स्टूडेंट को 55 मिला किसी स्टूडेंट को 98 भी मिला देर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन बोथ दी स्टूडेंट्स तो इसके लिए अपने लिए पास होना जरूरी है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द नॉलेज दैट यू गेट इज ऑब्वियसली एन एडिशन टू यू अभी ये वाला जो सब्जेक्ट है इसका जो एग्जामिनेशन का पेपर पैटर्न है वो कैसा है वो सिंपल है इट इज लाइक योर नॉर्मल पेपर ऑफ थ्री आवर्स तो ये भी थ्री आवर्स का ही पेपर है 100 मार्क्स का है हाँ तो 100 मार्क्स का है सर पासिंग पासिंग इज 50 मार्क्स तो जैसा आपका नॉर्मल पेपर वैसे ही आपका ये वाला भी पेपर है बट देन इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ कंप्यूटर बेस्ड पेपर आपको कंप्यूटर के ऊपर ये वाला एग्जाम देना है कंप्यूटर कुड बी अ लैपटॉप कंप्यूटर कुड बी अ डेस्कटॉप ओके बट इट हैज टू बी अ कंप्यूटर बेस्ड पेपर ओनली so एवरीबडी शुड बी फेमिलियर इन यूजिंग द कंप्यूटर बट द यूजिंग could only mean this you have to try to tick the correct option that is there apart from that as i told that marks are not very important passing is important ab ye wala examination paper kitni bar bhi de sakte ho jab tak clear nahi hote hain lekin clear karna zaruri hai me students ke liye icai ne wo bola tha ki aap baad mein bhi de sakte ho but from november onwards there is no notification like this to jab tak ye wale papers aap clear nahi karoge tab tak mere hisab se aap log ca final ke liye eligible hi nahi hone wale theek hai agar kuch aur notification wo aaya then in that case i will be updating you does a student have to write this paper like all other six papers nahi as i was saying ye computer based paper hai case study hoga uske hisab se mcq hoga sir ek hi case study hoga nahi bahut sare case studies honge aur uske upar bahut sare mcqs honge lekin aapko likhna nahi hai you just have to try to tick the correct option wohi ek aapka kaam hai aur kuch yahan pe aapko examination paper ke andar nahi karna hai सर कोई नेगेटिव मार्किंग्स भी हैं नेगेटिव मार्किंग्स एज पर द इंस्टीट्यूट तो बिल्कुल भी नहीं है तो कोई क्वेश्चन अगर नहीं भी आता राधे इन टू लीव इट इट इज बेटर टू बी अटेम्प्टिंग इट ओके तुम्हारे हिसाब से जो भी बेस्ट गेस्ट वगैरह है वो कर सकते हो लेकिन एज सच कोई नेगेटिव मार्किंग्स तो नहीं है सर जो करेक्ट ऑप्शन है उसके लिए डू वी हैव टू बी गिविंग एनी रीजनिंग नो देर आर एब्सोल्यूटली नो रीजनिंग्स टू बी गिवन आपका की यूज नहीं होगा टू बी ऑनेस्ट आपका सिर्फ माउस ही यूज होने वाला है ओके okay. 
so <clears throat> it is going to be a simple computer based paper you have to try to take one out of the four options and mcqs will be based upon the case studies which are there further sir ye wala exam kahan pe ja ke le earlier ica had told ki na aapko center slot kiya jayega aap log wahan par ja kar wo de dena as per now the situation is ICA aisa karne wala hai ki aap ghar pe bhi ye wala paper de sakte ho sir ghar pe to main books wagera mere baju mein rakhu main to pass hunga hunga wo barabar baat hai wo tum log soch rahe ho lekin as per ICA the guidelines will be like this you should be having a laptop or a desktop okay no tablets or no phones allowed second there has to be a web camera in front of you there has to be a microphone and you will be taking the test under surveillance and for all the surveillance my experience says that there is a strict kind of a decorum to be maintained agar wo algorithm ke andar aisa lagta hai that you are using unfair means you might be debarred aisa actually is ke exam ke na to bahut baar ho chuka hai students are debarred for a period of 2 years okay so if you all are smart please do remember इंस्टीट्यूट इज सुपर स्मार्ट ओके तुम लोग सौ लोग हो तुम लोग वो दो सौ लोग हो तुम लोग दस हजार लोग हो आई सी ए आई इज मेनी इयर्स ओल्ड दे अंडरस्टैंड दीज ट्रिक्स बाय द स्टूडेंट्स ओके सो राधर एन थिंकिंग ऑन दोज लाइन की सर मैं अनफेयर मीन्स यूज करके आई कैन बी क्लियरिंग इट सर ओके सो राध एन थिंकिंग ऑफ दोज लाइन्स ट्राई टू थिंक आई हैव टू ट्राई टू क्लियर बाई यूजिंग गुड मीन्स ओके सो यू ऑल स्टडी द थिंग्स विल बी ऑल टूगेदर फाइन फर्दर एक और चीज सर क्या हम लोग अपना बुक यूज कर सकते हैं इज इट अ ओपन बुक एग्जाम एज पर मी इट इज नॉट अ ओपन बुक एग्जाम यू कीप योर बुक्स इन योर माइंड एंड ट्राई टू गिव द पेपर सो एज पर मी नो बुक्स विल बी अलाउड एज सच इफ देर इज सम चेंज आई विल इन्फॉर्म फॉर श्योर बट एज पर वट एवर आई नो बुक्स आर नॉट अलाउड Sir, is SCMP useful beyond this paper? Now, this is one question that I have been answering for many years now. But then, to all those students who are listening for the first time, ये वाला जो subject है, except CA course now, it is there in every course. Every course, I will not talk of all the Chintu Mintu courses, but a course like ACCA, वहाँ पे ये वाला paper बहुत important है. फिर उसके बाद सी एम ए ऑफ यू एस सर्टिफाइड मैनेजमेंट अकाउंटेंट ओके वहां पे ये वाला सब्जेक्ट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है सी आई एम ए चार्ट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट अकाउंट लंडन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अगर आप लोग फ्यूचर के अंदर एम बी ए करोगे जो भी इस सब्जेक्ट के अंदर है वो आपको एम बी ए के अंदर भी आने वाला है सो एंश्योर दैट यू नो इन एंड आउट ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट सर इस सब्जेक्ट के अंदर ऐसा खास क्या है इट टीच इज यू हाउ टू बी डूइंग बिजनेस बेटा As per me, this is my strong belief. एक दिन financial reporting, direct tax, indirect tax, सब कुछ automation के अंदर चला ही जाएगा Law भी क्योंकि वो rule based चीजें हैं In fact, आजकल तो तुम्हारा जो stocks का जो trading वगैरह होता है वो भी algorithms के through ही होता है जिसको हम लोग तो algo trading बोलते हैं So, there are very few subjects that remain जहां पर ना rule based चीजें काम में नहीं आती जहां पर common sense काम में आती है and that is the beauty of this entire subject it teaches you how to be doing business so if in future you are going to be doing business you are going to be managing somebody else's business dad has a business you will manage it okay or after spending many years in job you think now nahi yaar abhi business to karna hai mereko business ke andar hi growth hota hai why to depend on somebody else then this subject can do wonders for you it teaches you basics it teaches you what the best of the companies do it teaches you why the best of the companies become the worst of the companies and it also teaches you why the best of the companies one day become worse and again what they all do to again become the best companies so this is something that every student should be knowing as such so this subject is useful beyond your chartered accountancy course and in case you are only going to be doing ca also it will help you in doing all your performances of chartered accountancy in a far better way how can one register for this examination at home icai ne ek website taiyar kiya the link of that is coming on your screen right now the qr code you all can scan it you will be taken to the same place over there i guess icai will be starting away with the registration there will be some software to be downloaded also before you will give the exam and then the things will be announced over there till now the notifications over there are not very proper but they will be coming on this website okay further 
इज दिस सब्जेक्ट डिफिकल्ट फॉर दोज पीपल हु आर ओनली गोइंट टू बी थिंकिंग कुछ भी करके पास हो जाओ येस इट इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर दोज पीपल हु विल अप्रोक्सीमेटली डिवोट हंड्रेड टू वन फिफ्टी आवर्स फॉर दिस सब्जेक्ट इट इज नॉट गोइंट टू बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट ओके सो इंश्योर दैट यू स्टडी दिस सब्जेक्ट because it will give you the knowledge that you will require not only for ca but also to become worldly wise okay to so subject old course ke andar sabse zyada failures is subject ke andar hote the wo ek reason wo nahi hai ki aise ne ye wala paper jo hai wo nikal diya but like you know the testing of this particular subject is case study based to so aise ko laga ki mcq based agar technique bhi leke jayenge na that will solve the objective of the institute okay further How can the students prepare for these exams? Now, obviously there are two ways. I say that modules are. Now, you can prepare from there. Or you can take the course of any teacher whom you like. Okay, but these are the two ways which are there. अगर खुद पढ़ोगे तो इंश्योर करना दैट यू डेडिकेट अराउंड 100 टू 150 फिफ्टी आवर्स फॉर दिस एंटायर सब्जेक्ट इसके अंदर थियरी है एमसीक्यूज हैं, फिर उसके बाद प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन भी हैं और यू कैन ट्राई टू बी टेकिंग द कोर्स ऑफ एनी टीचर Now, few things I'm trying to say about the course that I have prepared. So, my SCMP self-paced paper is completely ready. A student can watch it. There are thirteen chapters in all, including the case studies. So, you all can be watching it. Every lecture is approximately like you know of thirty minutes to one hour. So, therefore, every day one lecture can be getting completed by you all. It's fully complete now. The link of that is over here. Apart from that, in case you want a QR code, then it is over here. You all can scan it. Once you will scan it, you will directly be taken to a page. Create a login ID, create a password. Once that is done, pay the fees, and directly your lectures will be starting. Absolutely, there is no need to contact us for any reason. Lectures will automatically start without our interference at all. What if there are any enrollment issues? As per us, there are no issues. But in case you require some technical help, you can please call us on eight zero eight zero three two four 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 four. Further, can this course be accessed via the computer or the phones? It can be seen anywhere. It can be seen on your phones, on your tablets, or on your computers anywhere. Our Android app is there. Our iOS app is there. Where lectures can be downloaded in an offline manner also. it can happen and it is your choice you can see the morning lecture on the computer and the evening lecture on the app also it is like you know the options are completely there with you all we don't have any strict guidance for that okay the validity of this course was thought of in this way maximum gap between inter and final is 2 years so therefore we give you a validity of 2 years only apart from that you have unlimited views so if ever you like you know want to be watching the same lecture say after some time then in that case you all can why i am saying this because in your paper 6 that is a uh, multidisciplinary also you will find many things that are linked to scmpe at that time you might require revision of some concepts so this course will be there with you till the time you start to be giving your ca final as per me it is better the moment you clear your ca inter this should be the first course that you will give you clear so therefore like you know the self paced course are off your to do list and you can try to be concentrating on the major six subjects which are there what books are included beta we are going to be teaching everything from the module theory practical then the mcqs everything but i thought that i can present the solutions of the practical question in far better way as compared to the institute so therefore you will be getting my pdf which is there in the course itself okay in form of soft copy which you all can try to uh, download and print in case you all feel the need okay but we are teaching from the icm modules so therefore no other books are required as such will there be any summarize videos now i will be coming out with a summarize videos once i get few clarifications from the institute and that will happen approximately from the month of july okay so from the month of july on our youtube channel some regular summarize videos will also be coming so therefore entire uh, detailed course can be summed up quite fast what resources are available of scmp on our youtube channel currently in fact last 3 or 4 months every day we have been putting mcqs these mcqs are the independent ones or the case study based also you all can go through our youtube channel might be in a month or two all the possible mcqs will all be coming every mcq we have a separate video we try to explain complete logic complete concepts also in each and every mcq 
and uh, after that we try to pause the video for some time so therefore a student can comment once they comment they can start the video again and then try to get the confirmation from me was that answer correct or not so i've tried to heavily concentrate on like you know the mcqs which are there that will help a student further will there be any support for the doubts now whether you take our course or you do not take our course okay you can always contact us on our telegram id that goes by the name of at the rate aj next contact us over there okay and whatever doubts you all have regarding scmp we will be able to address them further is there any forum for scmp there is a telegram channel and there is a telegram group which you can be joining the details of that will be put in the description below Apart from that, uh, what will be the question paper of self-paced SCMP? This I told was the most important part. Now, ICA has given one model paper. That model paper has three sections: section A, section B, section C. In each of the sections, there are four case studies. For each of the case studies, there are six MCQs on an average. So ICA expects that approximately. Uh, 12 case studies will be asked to you which you have to answer within a period of 3 hours within a time of 3 hours that is whatever i'm going to be starting off with so once i end this entire question and answer session you will see that i try to have icas model paper and i'm going to be solving complete section a for you all okay section b and c will be available in our regular course but section a i will be solving whereby i guess there will be three or four case studies and and the related mcqs so see you all uh, with the icas model paper now so this is the model paper that has been issued by the institute in this entire paper you all have section a over here then below if we will be going you all have section b after section b there is a last section over here section c also so this is section b and then finally it concludes away with section c now all these sections have approximately four case scenarios under them so therefore like for section a if you all see for section a you all have case scenario number a1 over here that is a starting point then you will have case scenario number a2 a3 a4 b1 b2 b3 b4 c1 c2 c3 c4 so in all there are 12 case studies that are there example if this is case study number a1 you have mcq number 1 mcq number 2 mcq number 3 mcq number 4 then mcq number 5 and lastly mcq number 6 so there are 6 mcqs for the case studies in all in all it's going to be a 100 marks paper and every question is of 2 marks so therefore there will be 50 mcqs that are there in 180 minutes you have to be doing 50 mcqs so approximately 3.6 minutes you will require per mcq as per me that is good enough time for you all to be completing your paper apart from that there are 50 mcqs for 12 case studies so approximately 4 mcqs 4 to 5 on an average okay per question that is there so these many are the mcqs although in case scenario number a1 a2 a3 a4 the number of mcqs are more then in section c the number of mcqs for every case scenario is lesser okay so let's do this particular thing uh case scenario a1 Art Decor is a marble sculpture making company based out of Jaipur, Rajasthan. It has been making miniature figures for the past many years. It now plans to foray into making larger statues that can be displayed in gardens, resorts, or cor large corporate offices. So these guys were making small statues. Now they are going to be making full size statues. Okay. As a trial, it has asked its main designer Raj to come up with appropriate design model that would appeal to such customers. Okay, there is already a competitive market for the larger statues. So Raj is their main designer. The company has told Raj to come out with the design of these statues. But there are already players in this. Okay, so already there is competition. However, management of Art Decor has asked a skilled artist like Raj, who can come up with attractive designs for the customers within the month. 
The Raj, uh, Mr. Raj has come out with appropriate design. Jay is a product manager who likes the design but to who wants to price it competitively in the market. The costing for 200 statues is given below. So therefore, Raj is the <coughs> designer and uh, Jay is a product manager. But Jay is of one opinion that let's price it competitively. So this is the cost. Designing cost, material cost, direct la uh, labor cost, variable manufacturing overhead cost, fixed manufacturing overhead cost, marketing cost. In all, this cost is 85 lakhs, I guess, in total. But this is a cost for 200 statues. So therefore, per statue, it is going to be 42,500. Okay. So, the targeted profit is 25% of revenue. That is the target profit. That is the profit that we are looking at. Okay. If the selling price is 45,000 per statue, what is the targeted cost per statue? See, our actual cost is 42,500. Okay. But selling price, selling price, selling price is 45,000. This is our target selling price. We like to sell the product at this price. But then we are looking for a target profit also, 25% of this. So 45,000 into 25% will be 11,250. So that gives you target cost. So our target cost should be 33,750. This is the cost that you all should achieve. So this should be your target cost, 33,750. This will be your answer. I'll just highlight the correct answer. Okay. One small thing, currently your cost is very heavy beta. It is 42,500. It's a very heavy cost. Okay. Now, if it is a very heavy cost, then what you all should do? You should try to bring down your cost and how to bring down the cost in target costing. We all have done techniques like value analysis and value engineering. We have done those techniques. What is the cost estimate per unit as per the cost information given above? What is the cost estimate per unit? I calculated that that was nothing but 42,500. So see, this is your current cost per unit. 42,500 over here is nothing but part B of the answer. I will highlight the correct answer further. Third one, during the course of discussion, Jay, the product manager found that designer Raj plans to use high quality marble for these statues. Jay suggests that he uses a much lower marble material for the statues. This would reduce material cost by 60%. Okay. Labor, skilled labor hours required will also be re uh, reduced resulting from uh, resulting in direct manufacturing labor cost by 50%. So if they use that cheaper material, no, two things will happen. Material cost will reduce by 60%. Labor cost will reduce by 50%. Accordingly, what will be the revised estimate per unit if value engineering is applied? Okay. So, Jay, the product manager is telling to Raj, please let's use cheaper materials. This will reduce by 60%. So, therefore, this will become 8 lakh rupees. Means it will fall down by 12 lakhs. Further, labor cost will be falling down by 50%. So therefore, it will become 12 and a half lakh rupees means it will fall down also by 12.5 lakhs. So therefore, your cost will fall down by 24.5 lakhs. So 85 lakhs minus 24 lakh 50 thousand. It will fall down to the new cost will be coming to 60.5 lakhs divided by 200 beta. So therefore, 30250. So therefore, this will be your answer as such. Okay. This will be your new cost. So let's see in this case, whatever is the answer. <coughs> what will be the revised cost estimate? So therefore, it should be 30250. This should be your answer. Further, Raj the designer does not agree with Jay's proposition. He says, no, we will not use the cheaper quality raw materials. Okay. Then what to do? He feels inferior quality raw material will affect the durability of the statue and hence will affect the demand in the long run. He says, Sasta material use karega na, to long run ke na demand in aega, nahi karenge. But he feels that instead of value engineering, he feels that 10% increase in the spending in marketing can increase selling price per statue to 50,000 rupees per statue. He says, let's spend more in marketing. We will increase selling price to 50,000. The targeted profit is 25% of revenue. Given this scenario, what will be the target cost per statue? Same thing as your last question. 
target selling price is 50,000. Target profit in this case, you again want 25%. So therefore 12,500. So therefore targeted cost should be 37,500. I guess that should be your this answer. Further, given the situation four, what will be the revised cost per statue after increasing the spend on marketing? Okay. Now that guy had told we will spend more on marketing 10% more. So therefore this was 10 lakhs. Spend 10% more means 1 lakh. This will become 86 lakhs divided by 200. It will become 43,000. So therefore new cost over here will be 43,000 rupees. Okay. 43,000 comes over here. So therefore this should be the correct option. Okay. There was only one change that the product designer was saying that in this case we will uh, reduce this. <coughs> We will increase the marketing spend by 10%. So that's it. Okay. Further. MCQ number six. What is the estimated profit per statue as per three? Adopting value engineering and increasing marketing spend. What is the estimated profit as per three and as per four? How do you get pro uh, profit here? It is selling price minus the cost. Originally selling price was 45,000. Now they are planning to increase the selling price to 50,000. What was the cost? We calculated, no? Cost over here was uh, 30,250. That was supposed to be the new cost, 30,250. And now the new cost in the above plan was 43,000. So therefore your selling prices over here are 7,000. Sorry, your profits over here are 7,000. And profit over here is 11, uh, 14,250. These are the profits. So therefore, these are the profits under the two proposed plans that are there. So I guess these profits are mentioned in A. So therefore, these should be the correct answers. Okay. So these are your answers. You can try to reconcile them with the institute's answer that are getting displayed right now. Okay. So therefore, I've already marked. So therefore, A, B, C, those are the answers that we all have also got. Then B, D and A. So therefore, our answers were correct. Okay. That's it. That is end of case study number A1. We'll start away with case scenario A2. Now, this question is about building block model that was there in chapter number 9 made by Fizzgirl and Moon. There are a lot of things of that. So, if your that chapter is done, okay, then you are supposed to be watching this video. Although there are few things, even if you'll think in a proper way, I guess most of the things you will be able to answer. So, let's do this thing. Fixit is a company that provides home services to the clients within few urban areas like Mumbai, Delhi and Calcutta. Okay. These services include home repairs like plumbing, electrical, etc. and appliance and repair services. Okay. The company receives inquiries at its call center for specific service required. Okay. The call center so these guys are basically like the urban clap companies or something like that. Okay. They, although they all do plumbing and electrical work and appliance re, uh, repair services like TVs up and so on. Okay. The company receives inquiries at its call center for the specific request. Okay. For the services uh, required. The call center assistant logs the inquiry and provides a quotation for the specific service. If acceptable to the customer, then the inquiry is converted into a service request. Okay. And is attended to by the professionals employed by the company for these various services. A request can have multiple requirements included. For example, a single request can have both plumbing and electrical work. The company has huge turnover due to high demand and such services for such services in urban areas. Obviously, these are like, you know, necessity stuff. So therefore, lot in demand. The company has been in operation for the last two years. The management wishes to assess the current performance in order to set the targets and benchmarks for future use. They wish to concentrate on both financial and non-financial information. The building block model suggested by Fizzgold and Moon has been identified as a framework to be used to prepare performance evaluation report. Now, please do ensure if you're continuing to watch this, you have already done my lecture on building block model that was a big lecture okay which is a performance evaluation kind of a system from every angle okay and then it says like you know that these are the things that we all should measure there are something called as dimensions 
देन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दे शुड बी स्टैंडर्ड देन दे शुड बी रिवॉर्ड वी हैव डन ऑल दीज पर्टिकुलर थिंग देर आर थ्री पार्ट ऑफ द फिजिकल एंड मून मॉडल दर इज द बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक मॉडल Given below are certain financial and non-financial informations for the current year. Okay, what information? Inquiries received from the customers, from existing customers, twelve thousand. Okay, from the new customers, eight thousand. Number of services requests lodged from these inquiries, ten thousand and seven thousand five hundred. Just one small thing, you got twelve thousand inquiries, phone calls. So, like you know, will be the cost of this, will be the cost of this, up and so on. All these things you all did, okay. Ah, uh, and then, and then, and then, around ten thousand customers, okay, or ten thousand services requests were launched. So, out of twelve thousand people, ten thousand got converted. So, therefore, if anybody will ask me, what will be the conversion rate? No, so ten thousand divided by twelve thousand, it should be eighty three point three three percent. For the new customers, seven thousand five hundred divided by eight thousand. So, seven thousand five hundred divided by eight thousand. This is ninety three point seven five percent. Okay. Further, total client service last year, both existing and new. That is eleven thousand in all. These are the number of customers that you all have. These are the number of customers that you all have. See, one customer can place more than one request, no beta. So therefore, obviously, total of these two will not be matching with this because one customer can be placing more than one request also. So customer will remain one, but number of services will increase, no further. Volume of activity, okay? Home repairs fourteen thousand, appliance repairs five thousand. Number of employees two hundred. Number of employees fifty. So therefore, fourteen thousand repairs were carried out by two hundred people. Okay, so fourteen thousand divided by two hundred. So therefore, I guess one person approximately caters to on an average seventy requests in a year. Okay, and five thousand divided by fifty. So therefore, over it is. This is hundred. Okay, further. Complaints. Number of complaints received. Two thousand. Last year it was sixteen hundred. Number of complaints resolved. Okay, that is nineteen hundred. Last year one five two zero complaints were resolved. Okay. So, this is the number of complaints received. These are resolved of current year last year. So. Complaints means like you know these guys did the work. Consumer was not happy. He complained. So let's try to be thinking just one small thing. So out of two thousand complaints, you resolve nineteen hundred. No, your ratio is ninety five percent. Okay, so you resolve ninety five percent of the complaints. Last year it was one five two zero divided by sixteen hundred. That was also ninety five percent. Coincidentally, both of them are same. Gross profit on annual sales that is thirty percent. Okay, so therefore this is your GP ratio. Which of the following is true regarding conversion rate of inquiries into service requests? Conversion rate of existing customers is more than that of new customers. I don't think so. Conversion rate over here of new customers, sorry, of existing customers is lesser. Huh? So conversion rate of existing customers is lesser than the newer customers. So this is correct. Okay, further. Conversion rate is calculated as service request launched divided by inquiries received into hundred or reciprocal. Inquiries received upon service request launched into hundred. But a conversion rate will be how many inquiries came and how many got converted into the orders. Okay, so therefore it will be this part, I guess. Okay, so therefore this is correct. This particular thing is correct. Okay, I don't think so. This particular part is correct over here. Okay, this is not correct. This particular thing is altogether correct. Okay, so therefore. Out of the four options, which one were correct? Yeah, as such. So therefore, the ones that were correct was so two was correct and uh, three was correct. So options are one and four were correct. No, one and four were false. Two and three were correct. Yes. Then C one and three. No. Two and four. No, because four were false. So therefore, in this case, two and three were correct. This should be your correct answer. Okay. Further. Further, 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 further. Your this part is all together done. Okay, let's do the next part. 
to which dimension do the conversion rate of inquiries into the service request and the retention of existing customers fall i'll read this part once again to which dimension there are four dimensions in building block model conversion rate of inquiries into service requests and retention of the existing customers fall okay flexibility see flexibility is your adaptability to change like you know suppose suddenly one new kind of market came to clean the gardens how fast this company came out with that new product that is flexibility okay second resource utilization how efficiently you are using your resources okay it could mean suppose with how many employees how much work have you done or how much time of the fixed assets are getting used all those things quality control quality control are you providing great quality or not okay great quality in your products okay in this question it is a service competitiveness okay how competitive you are how competitive means uh, in relation to the competition now the question was to which dimension do conversion rate of inquiries into service request and retention of the existing customers will fall see i think so retention of the if i have to select one of them see if you are retaining existing customers okay it has got nothing to do with flexibility and resource utilization nothing okay it can be because of your good quality but i think it will if i have to select one no it should be competitiveness because if you are converting inquiries into the service request means into orders basically okay that means you are competitively sound okay this is not about quality this is not about quality although this thing retention of existing customers can be about quality but at least like you know retention of existing customers is also about competitiveness competitiveness means you are better than the competitors okay so if you are retaining existing customers means you are competitive apart from that if you convert inquiries into the orders that means that means that means that means that uh if you are converting inquiries into service requests that will be meaning that you are bagging the orders if the order would not have come to you then it would have gone to the competitor but it has come to you it is the competitiveness of your sales team of your marketing team of your call center team okay so if i have to be selecting one i guess i would rather go with d not with c as such okay because conversion of this into this is not about quality to be honest okay then mcq number 3 which of the following is true regarding complaints received okay complaints received complaints received is a measure of quality of service dimension correct complaints do measure the quality if your quality is bad complaints will be more so it is correct okay i think so this is true okay this is true complaints received is a measure of flexibility dimension absolutely no as i told you flexibility is your adaptability of the business to change to the new things beta this is your core business here we are talking of complaints received okay means you are not you are not doing your job properly so therefore your quality is bad it has got nothing to do with flexibility complaints received in this case have increased by 25% over the last year so let's see that complaints received have increased by 25% complaints 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 yeah complaints received have increased by 25% over the last year so last year complaints received were 1600 this year they were 2000 1600 plus 25% will give you 2000 so therefore this line is correct it makes sense to me <coughs> this is correct for the complaints received can be a reason for lower retention of existing customers this year absolutely correct if the complaints are higher customers will not like to be giving you new orders they will rather go to your competitor so therefore this line is also correct so one is correct three is correct four is correct one is correct three is correct four is correct so this should be your answer i think so this should be your answer further which of the following is true regarding complaints which are resolved we got the complaints we resolved them okay complaints resolved is a measure of quality dimension okay see complaints resolved is not a measure of quality dimension i think getting complaints is a measure of quality 
ओके इफ यू आर गेटिंग कंप्लेन मीन्स लाइक यू नो योर सर्विसेस आर बैड ओके आई थिंक सो सेकेंड कंप्लेन्स रिजॉल्ड इज अ मेजर ऑफ फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी डायमेंशन ओके आई रीड ऑल ऑफ देम देन आई कम बैक टू थर्ड वन द रेशो ऑफ द कंप्लेन्स रिजॉल्व टू कंप्लेन्स रिसीव्ड हैज रिमेन सेम एज अ लास्ट ईयर इनबिलिटी टू रिजॉल्व द कंप्लेन्स कैन अफेक्ट कंपेटिटिवनेस ऑफ द बिजनेस नो वन थिंग आई विल डेफिनेटली से वन थिंग आई विल डेफिनेटली से इफ यू के नॉट रिजॉल्व द कंप्लेन्स देन इट विल अफेक्ट योर बिजनेस फॉर श्योर The ratio of complaints resolved to complaints received has remained same as the last year. I think so. There is ninety five percent in both the cases, beta. So therefore, number of complaints resolved to number of complaints received. Okay, these are the complaints received. These are the complaints resolved. If I divide, that comes to ninety five percent in both the cases. So therefore, this line is also correct. Okay. Now, first and second complaints resolved is a measure of. quality of service dimension complaints resolved is a measure of flexibility dimension see if you are resolving see to resolve the complaints no consumers can be angry about anything you will have to be flexible suppose like you know suppose just an example you did their electricity work okay your people did the electricity work they told because of you all our ac also got spoiled okay although you all did not receive like you know you did not service their ac but if you can be flexible enough to resolve such complaints that will mean that you are good okay so i think so it is not a measure of quality it is about flexibility suppose like you know somebody told sir i took your course today <coughs> so is today's day counted or not now i will be saying by default it is counted only he says but sir i thought i am taking it in the evening so therefore how it is counted i should be flexible enough to understand your problem so i think so out of 1 and 2 no if i have to mark this thing correct this thing should be correct so <coughs> in this case 2 3 and 4 should be all correct beta 2 3 and 4 i think so so i would rather go with this particular answer okay for the Which of the following is true about average service performed by the employee? Okay, average service performed by the employee is a measure of resource utilization. Average service uh, performed means how many services did one employee do? Okay, so average service performed by the employee is a measure of resource utilization. I told you that particular thing. I think it is true only. In fact, I calculated that thing. This is how good you are using your resources, yar. So therefore. Seventy percent for, oh uh, sorry, seventy requests per employee over here. Hundred requests or hundred orders were completed per employee. Okay, so therefore in this case, average service performed by an employee is a measure of resource utilization. I'll give this statement correct, beta. Then, average service performed by an employee is a measure of flexibility. No, flexibility is adaptability for new things. These are not new things. Further. Average service performed for home service is more than appliance repair. One sec, I calculated no. Appliance repair is more than home repairs, beta. So fourth one is average service performed by home service is less than appliance repair. Yes, because appliance repair is more than home service. So therefore, this statement is correct. This is false. Okay. So first and fourth are correct. So therefore, answer should be this over here. Further. Which dimension does gross profit on annual sales indicate? This is common sense, beta. Gross profit is your financial performance. Options: competitiveness, financial resource utilization, and quality. So I think so. That answer should be directly financial. This is financial data, no? Okay. So therefore, this should be your financial thing. So therefore, this should be your answer. Okay. So your answer should be. I'll forget it off also. Okay. It must be correct, yar. so it is b d b just a sec b d b b d b okay then further d a b let me just check over there d okay then a and then b over here so therefore this is all together correct okay that's it about case study number a2 so i finished with section a2 case studies you will have got glimpse of whatever icas paper are going to be looking like 
So now your work starts. Ensure that you prepare this paper very well. Clear it off. But recall few of the concepts because they will be again coming as part of paper 6 multidisciplinary. Spread this video to your friends, especially who all are there in CA final who still have to be giving this paper. This paper is easy provided you know all the concepts. MCQs are not very tough because you are only restri uh, restricted to those four options as such. So therefore, if in end, even if your knowledge is bit less, but if you use your proper brains, no, you will be able in most of the cases to work out whichever is the correct option. Further, any doubts can always be addressed to our telegram ID at the rate AJNX or you can comment below over here for any other questions that you might be having. All the best guys. Thank you. Take care. All the best for your studies for CA final. Bye.